Roseanne Barr was back on Twitter on Tuesday night trying to defend herself hours after she said she would leave the platform in the wake of a racist tweet aimed at Valerie Jarrett that led to ABC cancelling her revived sitcom Roseanne. In a since deleted post, Barr wrote, Muslim Brotherhood and Planet of the Apes had a baby equals VJ. Barr returned to retweet messages of support from her followers and to profusely thank those who expressed their solidarity. The comedian tweeted two direct apologies at Jarrett, as well as a plea to her fans writing, Don't feel sorry for me guys, I just want to apologise to the hundreds of people and wonderful writers, all liberal, and talented actors who lost their jobs on my show due to my stupid tweet. In addition to two further apologies to Jarrett, Barr released a statement on Twitter which read, I deeply regret my comments from late last night on Twitter. Above all, I want to apologize to Valerie Jarrett as well as to ABC and the cast and crew of The Roseanne Show. I am sorry for making a thoughtless joke that does not reflect my values. I love all people and am very sorry. Today, my words caused hundreds of people to lose their jobs. I also sincerely apologize to the audience that has embraced my work for decades. I apologize from the bottom of my heart and hope you can find it in your hearts to forgive me. In a follow-up tweet, Barr linked her Jarrett comment to what she called ambient tweeting. Guys, I did something unforgivable, so do not defend me. It was two in the morning and I was ambient tweeting. It was Memorial Day too. I went too far and do not want to defend it. It was egregious, indefensible. I made a mistake, I wish I hadn't, but don't defend it please, thank you. The post has since been deleted. She clarified later that she wasn't blaming Ambien, but using being on the drug as an explanation for what happened. I blamed myself, she wrote in part, in a reply to a user. Yes, I have had odd Ambien experiences on tweeting late at night like many other people do. I blame myself, okay? On Wednesday, a since deleted joke addition to Ambien's Wikipedia page read, In 2018, the American Roseanne Barr made the public aware of a number of previously undisclosed side effects to Zolpidem, aka Ambien, including racism, Trump tweeting, anthem spitting, unpatriotic crutch grabbing, public irritation, political agitation, sore losing, sore winning, special election upsets, butt hurt, hate, avalanches, and loss of sitcom. For its part, the maker of Ambien, Sanofi, issued a statement on Wednesday morning saying racism was not a side effect of the sleep aid. Barr has argued that ABC's cancellation of her show was due to a threatened advertiser boycott and tied to Wanda Sykes announcing that she was leading the series. I heard it was because of a threatened boycott of the show's advertisers by people who do that sort of thing, she wrote in reply to a Twitter user who asked. What pressure exactly did ABC receive that they immediately denied 18 plus million people the choice to watch or not? She also claimed that Sykes' tweet made ABC very nervous and they cancelled the show. Barr posted this as well. I think I know what really happened. It has made me mad, but as I told you, I would leave when they started to try to censor me, so it all worked out. In another reply early Wednesday morning, Barr added, I gave them the weapon to kill me. I was not equipped to take all the heat. I cracked and made a stupid, insensitive joke. It's my fault. In addition to the cancellation of her massively successful TV revival and its Emmy For Your Consideration campaign, talent agency ICM has dropped Barr as a client and Viacom Networks, Paramount Network, TV Land and CMT cancelled upcoming reruns of the revival series. Jarrett, a former President Barack Obama advisor, weighed in on MSNBC's town hall Everyday Racism in America later on Tuesday, saying she hoped that the tweet and ensuing outcry would be a teaching moment. Meanwhile, on Wednesday, President Donald Trump made the controversy about himself when he tweeted that ABC never apologized for any criticisms made about him on the network. The president tweeted, Bob Iger of ABC called Valerie Jarrett to let her know that ABC does not tolerate comments like those made by Roseanne Barr. Gee, he never called President Donald J. Trump to apologize for the horrible statements made and said about me on ABC. Maybe I just didn't get the call. Jarrett had revealed that the Disney chairman called her before the Roseanne cancellation was announced. Trump previously touted the enormous viewership of the revival, saying the ABC sitcom represented his supporters. To read more on this ongoing story, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.